the first kind of learning that we're going to talk about is supervised learning of decision trees. Before we talk about the learning process, we're going to talk about what a decision tree actually is and how it's used to label unlabeled data. So here's a simple example of a decision tree that's intended to represent movie renting behavior. Every internal node of the decision tree represents a test or a variable. And depending on the outcome of the test or the value of the variable, you're going to take an appropriate branch. In the case of this example, all the internal nodes of the decision tree are binary valued with two children. But that's not a necessary restriction on decision trees. There can be decision trees with internal nodes that have more than two children. Every leaf of the decision tree represents a decision or an action. In the case of this movie renting tree, the leaves are going to correspond to recommendations to rent the movie or to not rent the movie. Not rent is represented by tilde, tilde rented. So here's an example of a movie description that we might want to classify using this decision tree. The variables that we use to represent a movie can vary, of course, but some obvious ones might be the genre of the movie, whether it's sci, whether it's suspense, whether it's romance. There might be characteristics of the movie itself that we represent, whether it includes a big star, whether it's in black and white. And we might include other variables, like social variables. Ebert and Siskel are both professional movie reviewers, and I use their recommendations to make judgments as to whether I should rent a movie or not. But Ebert and Siskel could just as easily be friends on a social network that would inform your decision making. In the case of this particular movie, which we want to classify, it's not a sci-fi movie. Sci-fi equals negative one. It is a suspense movie. Suspense equals one. It's not a romance. And Siskel and Ebert both recommend it. We want to ask, should we rent it or not? What will decision tree prescribe that we do? The root of the decision tree, Ebert, indicates that we need to look at the Ebert value of the movie that we want to classify. Ebert recommends it value 1. So we're going to take the right branch of the Ebert node. And that takes us to the Siskel node. Siskel also recommends it, so we're going to take the right branch there. At the Romance node, we find that it's not a romance movie. After taking the left branch of the Romance node, we reach a leaf that indicates that we should rent the movie. Now let's consider a different movie. This new movie is not a suspense movie. It is a romance movie in contrast to the earlier movie. And I specified here uh, that it is not black and white. I didn't bother to put the black and white specification on the earlier movie. What recommendation would the decision trees prescribe for this new movie? Well, the Ebert and Siskel values for this movie are the same as the earlier movies, so we'd follow the same links that we did for that earlier movie. At the romance node, however, we'd follow a different path because it is a romance movie. We take the right branch at romance. And when we got to the black and white node, because it is not a black and white movie, we would take the left branch there, and we'd reach a leaf that recommends that we do not rent the movie. Take a moment to look at this new movie description and decide whether the decision tree would prescribe to rent it or not rent it. Go ahead and pause the video and start it again when you think you have the answer. In this particular case, Ebert does not recommend the movie, so we would take the left branch of the Ebert node. It is a sci-fi movie, so we take the right branch there. And it does include a big star, so we take the right branch there, and we would reach a decision to rent it. Up until now, we've talked about what a decision tree is, and I had simply made up this decision tree, introspecting on my own decision-making about whether to rent movies or not. But if an organization like Netflix or iTunes was keeping track of my movie renting behavior, it could collect data on what it's doing, and we could learn these decision trees from data. And so that's what we're going to be talking about next.